part two of identifying key signatures. As you remember, with the sharp key signatures, we used our right hand, memorized a little tune, and you can identify by the number of sharps or by where your finger lands, how many sharps and what they are in every uh, major sharp key signature. Now we'll do the major flat key signatures. With the major flat key signatures, you memorize a similar tune, but you use the left hand. But it's the same process. Your thumb still starts on C because C has zero flats. And you play a very similar tune, except you're going down. Zero, one, then you go down a whole tone. Two, another whole tone. Three, four, five, six, seven. So there's your tune for the major flat key signature. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so um, if you, if I was to ask you, if I were to ask you uh, how many flats are in the key of A flat major, you would count zero, one, two, three, until you hit A flat, four. So you would know that there are four flats. Zero, one, two, three, four. If I were to say which major key signature has six flats, you would count down until you hit the number six, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's G flat major. So G flat major has six flats. We wouldn't call it F sharp major because we're doing flats, and that's the left hand side. So when you get comfortable with that, then you can also, you should also be able to name the order of flats. So you remember that the order of sharps is Father Charles goes down and ends battle. The order of flats is battle ends and down goes Charles' father. It's exactly the opposite. So you memorize that phrase going front and back. So if someone were to say to you, what major key has two flats, you would go, you could play zero, one, two. You could say B flat major has two flats. Well, what are those two flats? Battle ends, B, E. So those are your two flats in B flat major. So C major has zero flats. F major has one flat, B flat major has two flats, E flat major has three flats, A flat major has four flats, D flat major has five flats, G flat major has six flats, C flat major has seven flats. C flat major is also B and B major has five sharps, but it, and it ends up being the same notes, but it's called for the flat major, it's called C flat major, which is the other name for B. When you get comfortable with that, you can move on to step three.